If you watch my videos long enough, you'll discover that I'm someone who likes to organize my gear with what I call kit bags. Think of these bags as a way to organize your gear into groups. For an example, there may be a kit bag that deals with your cooking setup. Stove, pot, spoon, fuel, so on and so forth. Then you may have a food bag. Coffee, food, trash bag, so on and so forth. You can expand upon these kit bags with different types, such as a power kit, a miscellaneous kit, and of course you could continue on with this if you like. For myself, over the years, I've developed a highly tuned system of kit bags that allows me to stay highly organized when I'm out for an adventure. That way, I know where every single component is. Nothing ever gets lost. As soon as I get something, I use it, I put it back up, and I know exactly where it's at. I don't have to fool around digging through my backpack. Where did I put my spoon? Where did I put my pot? Where's my first aid kit? Where's my power bank? I don't have to do that. I know where every single component is at. My name is Luke, this is the Outdoor Giver View, and these are the Pack Back Designs kit bags. <laughs> This here is one of the pouches from Pack Back Designs. Made in the US, ultra lightweight, handmade, top notch, high end materials. And the thing is this, the pricing is more than fair for these products. When it comes to this company, Pack Back Designs, from what I understand, they are based out of Scottsdale, Arizona. The company claims that they design their products on the trail and every piece of gear simply works. Now, based upon my experiences with three of their bags, that claim is true. Each one of these is freaking fantastic. In fact, everyone, this is one of the rare instances where I have no cons for these products. These are practically perfect in every way. With the bags here, we have two different types and three different sizes. This is the large food bag. This is the small size food bag. And this is the three inch deep pack pouch. With the large size food bag, it measures 11 and a half by seven and a half, and it's roughly six inches deep. The weight of this is only 36 grams. You have a water resistant zipper across the top. This is a two way zipper, both with zipper pulls. You have loops at both ends and you also have a grab handle at the front. When it comes to this bag here, it may be difficult to see it, but it's more of like a cube sort of shape. Basically you have a flat bottom, flat top and sides. But because it's made of a fabric, which we will talk about here in just a minute, it does lay a little soft. Opening this up, you have a ton of space on the inside of these bags. This is my cook kit and also my fire kit. So inside of this, I have a canteen cup pot, an actual fire kit, some spoons, tin foil, lighter, paper towels. I even have a stove. With this kit here, and truthfully with the others as well, I customize them for every single trip that I'm going on. So in this case, I have a wood stove, my fire kit, I have cups, pots, but there's times where I take out some of those items and I replace it with a canister stove, maybe a butane stove, whatever I want, whatever I'm feeling like for the trip. This is the three inch deep pack pouch, 12 inches by eight inches, by roughly three inches deep. The weight of this is 38 grams. And this is what I refer to as my food kit. Inside of this, I keep snacks, meals, coffee, and the alike. Again, you have water resistant zippers, two way, you have pulls. On this side, you have a grab handle. With this pouch here, you will see that it opens up quite differently than the food bag. It opens up very much like a book. And you can see inside of this, I have a ton of stuff. Here's my trash bag, I have some instant coffee, I have some small Ziploc bags, there's some Tic Tacs, I have some peaches in here, energy drink, bars. This offers a ton of space, enough space for multiple days out in the field, out on the trail, for meals, snacks, and so on. This is the smallest of the three bags that I have, and this is the small food bag. Basically, it's the same shape, same design, as the large one, except it's smaller. This measures seven inches by six inches, and it's roughly three and a half inches deep. The weight of this is only 16 grams. The design is the same. You have the water resistant zipper, two way with zipper pulls. You have loops at both ends. You have a grab handle up at the top. I use this basically as a power kit. And inside of this are the items that consume and use power. Such as a fan. a headlamp. I have some battery banks, an LED light strip, 
charging cable. With this kit bag here, just as the others, I will customize this for every single trip that I go on. I will bring with me the components that make sense for the adventure. And that's how I recommend that you set up your kit bags. Customize them for every single trip. Now that you've seen the bags, let's talk about the materials that are used with the construction of these. The company uses a DCF fabric, which stands for Dynama Composite Fabric, which used to be known as Cuban Fiber. Think of this as some of the most cutting edge material out there. This fabric is used by virtually every single company out there that focuses on like high end ultralight gear. It is used in the construction of tents, tarps, backpacks, and its claim to fame is that it's roughly 15 times stronger than steel by weight. With these bags here, you can purchase these in a number of different types of DCF fabric, different weights, different strengths, and you can also get these in different colors, blue, white, and green. Before we start with the pros, let's talk about price. For the large food bag, you're looking at $43. The three inch deep pack pouch is $38 and the small food bag is $32. Let's begin with the review, starting with the pros. So pro number one is the quality, the overall construction of these. These bags are expertly made, top notch quality. We're talking about ultra high end materials here. Not only the fabric, but the water resistant zippers as well. Speaking of which, these bags are highly water resistant. They're not dry bags or anything like that, but they work just fine underneath the tarp, with some moisture coming in, it doesn't matter. Because we have high quality zippers here, these are easy to open, easy to close. You have zipper pulls, that's great. It's amazing to me how many kit bags are out on the market today that don't have zipper pulls. I mean, quite a few actually. Let's talk about price. In my opinion, for what you're getting here, considering the materials, the zippers, the price is more than fair. There are many companies out there who make Dynama storage bags, kit bags. Some are priced super, super high, these are priced right in the middle. And in my opinion, the prices are very fair, especially for what you're getting. We've already spoken about the materials and how strong they are. That translates to durability as well. I've been using these for almost a year now with no issues. I mean, they look brand new. There's no picks, no holes, nothing at all. If you've watched my adventures, you've seen me use these for almost a year. And again, they look brand new. That's impressive. This material holds up so much better than your typical ripstop nylon, ripstop polyester, and so on. Much stronger, much more durable, and it shows. Each of the bags are very well thought out. You have loops so you can hang these. You can add a carabiner if you want to. We have grab handles. These are very well thought out, and you can tell they were designed by people who know what they're doing. Something else I like about these bags is the fact that they're semi-transparent, so you can look at these and you can get an idea of what's on the inside. I like that. Next, everyone, these are highly versatile kit bags that I've used for just about any sort of purpose. I use these for travel, for backpacking, for camping, for biking. I use them for truck camping as well. You can use something like this for any sort of reason. It's all about organizing your gear, making your life simple, and keeping your gear neat. It also helps with preventing losing your gear as well. Next, folks, I'm not sure how well it comes through, but each one of these bags is somewhat like cube-shaped, and that assists when you go to pack these. So you can pack these inside of your bag any which way that you want to. Lay it down, lay one on top, on top. It's a nice feature. Additionally, I like the fact that you can customize these. You can pick the color, pick the material. You can go lighter weight, or you can go stronger if you want to. And that takes us over to the cons that I have for these, which I've mentioned before, I have none. With my testing for myself, these have proven to be the perfect kit bags. Ultra lightweight, ultra strong, highly adaptable, very useful, made in the USA, fair price. There is simply nothing to complain about when it comes to these. For the money, these pack back bags offer a good ratio of quality, low weight, durability, and versatility. And I can easily say that I'm impressed with everything that I've seen from this company so far. It needs to be mentioned, the company makes a wide range of products. I've only tested out three so far, but I'm interested to see what else they offer. Stay tuned to the channel, more is to come. It doesn't need to be said, everyone, but I'll go ahead and say it. The channel is agenda-free. I don't care if you purchase this product. It means nothing to me. I get no kickback. There's no financial gain for myself. This channel is all about information, and that's it. I want to thank you all very much for watching this episode. Hit the thumbs up before you go. It means a lot. For my review of the Pack Back Designs pouches, kit bags, these are excellent. I can easily recommend them. Until next time, take care, be well, strength and honor.